2020 is only about halfway through, and Governor Chris Sununu says it's probably an understatement already to call it a tough year. There's a lot of anger and anxiety out there, but um, in making sure that people are being listened to, the voices are being heard, and there's action following it. That's what we do very well in New Hampshire, and so we're going to make sure, and, and again, I take that personally responsible as the governor, that we are advancing those discussions around COVID, the economy, uh, issues of social injustice. As New Hampshire grapples with those big issues, the governor says he plans to make an announcement Friday regarding the stay-at-home order set to expire on June 15th. Our intent is to look take June 15th as transforming the stay-at-home order maybe into something more like an advisory and allowing some more flexibility as we go forward from that point. So again, tomorrow we'll make an announcement uh, surrounding that. We're still kind of looking at, at our options, but uh, moving on from the stay-at-home order on June 15th is our intent. The governor says to watch tomorrow for new flex guidance on restaurants and weddings. And I think we'll have an announcement uh, with restaurants that people will be uh, very pleased with also with weddings to make sure that obviously the ceremonies can continue under the guidance we put forth last week. But if you're talking about the receptions and, and those sort of things, we'll have guidance that uh, moves that forward uh, tomorrow. Governor Sununu also expects the Main Street Relief Fund to be ready to begin verifying applications for 400 million federal dollars intended to boost pandemic afflicted businesses. And as kids around the state wrap up a school year disrupted by COVID-19, the governor says the goal is still to have them back in the classroom under new safety guidance in September. Reporting in Concord, Adam Sexton, WMUR News 9.